Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of RST1 Scenarios by Beautiful. And in this playthrough, I'm going to be playing in the scenario Cards and Coasters. Now, um, this is a park which already has uh, several wooden coasters and several card tracks. Uh, now, this, the layout of these coasters, uh, I don't particularly uh, like them. So I'm going to remake these coasters with a version of my own. So for Timber Terror, I think I'm going for a coaster that's more akin to a, like a GCI wooden coaster. So uh, you can expect lots of curves. Uh, and yeah, just a very curvy layout with, uh, with some nice airtime uh, hills. Maybe a station fly through, uh, so something like that. And over here we have Lumberjack. And um, not all woodies are created equal. Some are a little bit longer than others. Some are a bit more curvy, some are more straight. And um, I think I will give this one uh, sort of like an out and back layout. And when that's done, I probably still have space for a third woody. So I will probably uh, erect one somewhere in the park, um, which has a layout more akin to the coaster uh, switchback. I believe that was the name, <laughs> not actually sure. But it's a wooden coaster, which actually has a spike uh, somewhere in the track where the coaster will uh, reverse back once it's made its, uh, it to the end of the, the, of the layout. Now, um, the go-kart tracks, uh, I also don't think they're particularly impressive. Um, yeah, their lay layouts are just very uh, long and chaotic. And right now, um, yeah, they just excel at uh, keeping guests waiting in the queue. So uh, I plan to... Uh, uh, transform these uh, go-kart tracks into some designs of my own. I probably want to do one that has a normal concrete track, or well, normal, <laughs> just the way I like to do, uh, to do them. And I can probably give the other one a dirt track, and then probably we have a nice uh, collection of kart uh, tracks in the park. And then for the rest of the park, uh, I'll probably just fill it up with some uh, nice other thrill rides. Now, as for the theme of the park, uh, it's called Carts and Coasters, and that made me think of uh, um, yeah, doing a park uh, themed to uh, like the American countryside. So you can expect lots of burger restaurants, grill restaurants, and probably lots of uh, uh, sheriff entertainers, and maybe some bandits as well. Anyway, um, as usual in these scenarios, I'll start off by demolishing everything that's in the park, and I'll make a simple perimeter this time and I'll work on the entrance of the park. Alright, the park now has a fence around it. Now, I just went with a simple wooden fence. I think uh, in the end the park will look a lot nicer because I am going to do a lot of uh, ground texturing like I did over here with a little bit of uh, this rocky floor. And also uh, giving the um, ground under these paths a different color. Now, I'm here you can see the entrance of the park. Just a simple gate over here. Here you can see two little buildings with a ticket booth and over here there's the actual entrance where the tickets get checked. You can see two uh, um, sheriff entertainers here and above them there's this sign saying Yeehaw, which is rural American for welcome. And over here there's a little uh, shop the, that says Park Info and there's two invisible uh, uh, information kiosks over here. 
where guests can get a park map uh, and an umbrella. And finally over here some toilets, because uh, every park needs some toilets, of course. Now, with this done, um, we now have a final... we finally have a good start for the park. And uh, from here on, uh, I can expand in all directions. So uh, I can start erecting the woodies that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Alright, here you can see the start of the park. So uh, yeah, here's the new um, king card layout. So a lot less chaotic than the original. I still made a bridge here over the uh, entrance. Because uh, yeah, that's just such an iconic uh, thing of this park. So I just had to have something like that in it. And I, I just think it turned out so well. Really happy with, uh, with how this turned out. I also made a, a small ferris wheel over here. Well, I say small, it's pretty big. <laughs> Called it a uh, great wheel, of course, in the colors of the American flag, as this is the theme of the park. I also made a little bridge here where I can expand the park later. And over here, I um, made this uh, uh, burger stand here called Freedom. And if you actually look in the shop names, you can see it sells Freedom Burgers and Freedom Soda. Because Freedom is one of the biggest exports of America, as everybody knows. Anyway, um, yeah, I think uh, from here it will actually be good to already start on this corner of the park. And over here I want to make the new Woody, uh, which has the reverser. So basically I want to have... Uh, coaster like the existing coaster switchback which has a spike where the coaster travels up and then reverses back through the track. And I think it will be really cool if the spike actually also crosses over the go-kart track and maybe crosses uh, right next to this bridge but uh, I'll have to see how the layout uh, goes and if I can make it like that. Alright let's get to work.
All right, here we have the first Woody of the park. Now it still needs a name, so let's uh, do that now. And I will call it Morning Wood. So yeah, um, as you can see here, there's this uh, lift hill. Then over here it uh, travels upwards. Then there's a little bit of a drop here. Quite a big drop. And then it passes uh, over this hill here. Then here there's this uh, turnaround, which I made diagonal. And then it uh, travels behind the lift hill. Then it drops down onto this um, spike here. And after that it does this entire piece of track backwards. Then it travels over this, uh, uh, yeah, on on this first drop again. And then after that it uh, it slows down and goes into the station. So it required some trickery here uh, with uh, with a merge that uh, and some dingy slide track. Well, it's actually quite complicated, so I'm not going to try to explain it in this video. But uh, yeah, it's a it's a fun trick that allows you to make uh, layouts uh, like this one. And of course, um, th there's a, a real coaster which has a sort of a layout like this. It's called the Switchback. Not really sure which park uh, it is in. But yeah, um, I think it's a very fun layout. And uh, yeah, that will be the first Woody of the park. Okay, um, I'm going to do a little bit more decorating uh, on this coaster off camera. Uh, maybe going to do some footers, but probably I'm just going to put some trees in front uh, in most places. Because it is a lot of work to do and the uneven terrain just makes it uh, very annoying to do with these uh, prison wall corner pieces. Alright, um, yeah, I will do some more decorating off camera. And after that I'm going to create uh, some extra rides in the park. Okay, here's the next uh, go-kart track of the park. Uh, there used to be a go-kart track here called Turnpike. Now I really want to have a dirt uh, go-kart track in the park. So uh, yeah, I repurposed the Turnpike into a, a dirt go-kart track. Now I actually looked up what the word Turnpike meant and uh, it means something like toll road. And I thought uh, if this was a toll road it would be a pretty shitty one. So I said I call it dirt bike. Yeah, not uh, sure if that uh, really makes sense, but uh, <laughs> I thought it was uh, a funny play on the word. I also made a little ice cream stall over here, some toilets. Uh, and yeah, just did uh, some general decorating here around this area. Lots of trees. Anyway, um, with this done, um, yeah, I kind of want to have an out and back woody uh, somewhere over here in the corner. I'm going to see if I can wrap it around this... Uh, uh, go-kart track and maybe also have a turnaround here in the corner. I think that would be uh, pretty cool and that would be an optimal usage of this space here. So yeah, just going to give it a try and see if it works out.
Okay, here's the parks out and back, uh, Woody. So uh, I call it Lumberjack after the roller coaster which used to be in this plot of land. Now, um, as you can see, the station is over here. The layout is fairly simple. Goes up this lift hill around the corner, and it's simply, uh, yeah, just a series of hills over here. Then it does a pretty tight turnaround here in this corner. I'm happy I was able to uh, fit it in here. Then after that, there are several more hills here with some more airtime moments. Um, yeah, here there's sort of like a figure eight uh, before here it uh, hits the brake section where there's also the building with the storage track. And then over here there's the station. Uh, I tried to put some uh, something which looked like a saw, so I put some of these spinning cog wheels here on the side of the station. So yeah, um, I think this uh, this layout uh, works pretty well, and it is pretty much what I had in mind for this uh, coaster. Now I still have a lot of uh, space left over here. Um, I was planning to add one more wooden coaster, but. Uh, Probably we can add a wooden coaster over here, maybe another car track. I'll have to uh, play a bit with the space uh, that I have here and just come up with some uh, nice ideas. Now um, I also put another ride here in the middle just to fill up some space. Uh, this ride is uh, Apollo. It's uh, named after the uh, yeah after the moon landings, which totally happened and were not recorded in a movie studio, and which uh, somehow. We weren't able to do again for another 60 years. But yeah, um, I think that's worth uh, celebrating the Apollo missions. Anyway, um, yeah, let's just uh, continue uh, building stuff in the park. Okay, I've uh, used some of the space we have here to uh, construct another go-kart track. Now I wanted it to look different from the other two. So uh, over here we have the dirt track, which is mostly only uh, turns. So the gas can uh, slide through the dirt. Um, this one over here is more, it's more straight track. It's more um, a more s a simple uh, layout. And this one over here, I call it hairpin. It has some more straight track. Uh, it also it has the most uh, elevation change of uh, any of these uh, go-kart tracks. So I think uh, that's a good way to set it apart uh, from the other ones with its uh, hills and uh, drops. I called it uh, hairpin, uh, obviously because of all the hairpin turns that it has. So yeah, I think uh, the park's already starting to look uh, pretty nice. And uh, I'm going to use uh, this space over here to make a final big uh, wooden roller coaster, which I will name Timber Terror.
Okay, here's the new rendition of Timber Terror. Now I'm uh, this wooden couch layout is much more curvy than uh, the other ones that I made. Uh, yeah, this is kind of more like uh, uh, how GCI would do their layout, I think. Which is uh, one of the wooden coaster companies. Yeah, I'm start with a um, drop that uh, flows into a curve and goes diagonal under the lift hill. Then it passes under the lift hill again, does this big turnaround here. Um, here it does another turnaround right under the first drop. And it then it goes under the lift hill again, then it pops up here. And then finally uh, another turnaround here. Before uh, here it pops up again out of the lift hill structure. And then finally here's the brake run. So yeah, quite a lot of uh, track uh, in a pretty compact uh, layout. And this ride definitely uh, fits here uh, nicely in the corner like this. Okay, we have one final space here remaining, uh, quite a large space. And I think it will be fun to build another wooden coaster here uh, that travels around this pond, maybe also in this area. And uh, yeah, for this final woody, I think it will be fun um, if it has an inversion or two along the track. And if I use the hybrid coach it drains, it will actually have sprites uh, for those inversions. So uh, in the end it should look uh, pretty nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to try and make a nice layout uh, in this area. Alright, here's the final coaster of the park, which I named Hardwood, uh, because it's made of very hard wood. Uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of like a double out and back layout. And uh, I also gave it two inversions. Uh, one which uh, passes right over the path here, which leads towards the coaster. And there's another one uh, over here, which I made sure is uh, visible from over here. I think um, yeah, these inversions are really a, a nice eye catcher for the coaster. As you can see, it's also quite popular at the moment. I didn't give the coaster a transfer track because uh, I just pretend there's one here in this uh, tunnel. But yeah, um, with this, uh, pretty much all the space in the park has been filled in. Uh, maybe I'm able to fit another ride over here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to uh, uh, finish decorating the park off camera, just filling up the final spots, doing foliage, decorations, uh, some filler rides, uh, maybe a few extra shops and stalls. And after that, um, yeah, we'll be back to uh, take a tour through the park. Now, as I usually do in these videos, um, I will now name uh, all the entertainers in the park, of which there are 47 after uh, everybody who was a patron at the moment this park was completed. And after that is done, we will take a tour through the park and then we'll also go off after the, over the uh, new additions that were done to the park.
Alright, all my patrons have now been included in the park as an entertainer. Uh, yeah, I highly recommend uh, downloading the map for yourself uh, to check out your spot in the park. And thanks a lot to all my supporters. Uh, you give me the motivation to keep making these uh, videos. Anyway, with all the patrons now having a place in the park, uh, I think it will be fun to take a little tour through the park and show everything that uh, was created. I'll start here at the entrance. Now uh, for the entrance I wanted to keep a, a go-kart ride going over the entrance. Um, so that's what I did here with this big uh, go-kart uh, track with this uh, bridge here. But we'll get to that in a minute. Here you can see the entrance area of the park. So yeah, just a big gate here with some uh, large doors. Uh, over here there's some ticket booths. And then finally here there's this uh, uh, entrance part here with a sign saying Yeehaw! Um, next to the entrance over here there's this big ferris wheel. I thought this would be a nice, lo uh, yeah, nice location for it. High up next to the entrance, uh, a nice eye catcher. We have some shops and stalls here selling Freedom uh, Burgers. Uh, over here I made an archery range or a shooting range because uh, what is more American than uh, having a shooting range in your park uh, right uh, around this area there's this ride uh, King Cards now um, it's a remake of the original one uh, the original one had a really wacky layout I think this one is a little bit more down to earth so just a big uh, circular track with some uh, curves in both directions I think it turned out pretty well. Probably not the most exciting <laughs> go-kart track to go on, since it doesn't really have many exciting corners. But I think it would be a, a fun track to go on nonetheless. Um, over here we have the first coaster of the park. This one is called Morning Wood. And it has a big, large uh, uh, spike over here, which towers above uh, this area of the park. And um, yeah, goes to travel up the lift hill, goes down here around this turnaround, and finally it goes up the spike, then it reverses, and it goes up a little bit uh, on the lift hill again, and then it returns back to the station. So it required a little bit of trickery to build this, but uh, yeah, I think it turned out uh, pretty nicely. Now, over here, I made another go kart track. Now, this one's completely different from uh, the other one that I built here. Um, let me quickly fix this. So there used to be a, another go-kart track here called Turnpike, and I made this go-kart this uh, go-kart track into a dirt go-kart track, and I called it Dirt Pike. Has <laughs> um, completely different layout from this go-kart track over here. This one focuses more on having lots of uh, curves. And since it's a dirt uh, kart track, uh, yeah, I imagine this uh, could make the go-karts uh, slide along the track here. Now, over here I made this launched free fall ride called Apollo. And over here we have this out and back woody uh, lumberjack. Now, once again there used to be a wooden coaster here called lumberjack. So uh, yeah, I uh, redid it as this out and back coaster, which travels all along the map edge over here. I'm uh, quite happy with the layout. Now, um, over here, off camera, I made a little swinging ship. Really, not much to say about uh, this one. It's a simple uh, uh, ride, like I uh, make in pretty much all of these uh, parks. Now, for once, uh, I decided to actually make the park sell hats, because I think it's uh, pretty fitting in a park, which is full of uh, entertainers in sheriff costumes. Over here we have the third uh, go-kart track of the park. This one's called Hairpin. Uh, yeah, just uh, um, a go-kart track which has several hairpins uh, in its layout and quite uh, uh, a lot of elevation chains along the track. So yeah, I, I guess that makes uh, all three of these go-kart tracks kind of uh, unique. And once again, this one has a concrete surface, but in a different color than uh, this one. Now I made another woody over here. Um, this is uh, my version of Timber Terror. Uh, coaster has the same uh, colors as the original one. 
Um, yeah, this one uh, is a bit more of a curvy layout. But already in the first drop, there's a, a big curved drop here. And it travels uh, over and under itself uh, quite a few times. Especially from this angle, I think the layout here looks uh, pretty cool. Okay, and here's the um, last Woody of the park. Also the Woody that I that I made last. Uh, this one's called Hardwood, because it's made of really hard wood. And it's pretty long as well. And it has several inversions uh, along its layout. And I used the hybrid coasted trains uh, to make sure that it actually uh, has sprites for doing these inversions. Yeah, yeah you you see more and more wooden coasters, uh, uh, well, real ones, I mean, that uh, actually have some sort of inversions. So uh, I thought it would be fun to incl include one here in the park as well. So uh, here it is. And I think these zero G rolls uh, actually work pretty well in this caster. So yeah, here we have it, uh, carts uh, and coasters. I uh, really uh, <laughs> wanted to make some nice wooden coasters uh, in this park. Uh, and also some really cool uh, car tracks. So, uh, and of course we also have a few filler rides, but of course the main eye catchers are all these nice uh, woodies. So I think I uh, succeeded uh, in my goal in the end. So yeah. Um, that's really uh, all there is to say about this uh, this park. Um, you can download this park for yourself from my Discord server. You can find the link in the video description. If you like this video, uh, please consider giving it a like. Uh, I would really appreciate it and it would really help out my channel. And it will only take you one second. If you want to see more of these videos, of course, uh, don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel. Alright, uh, to end this video, we're going to take a ride on all these coasters. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later.